Hi everyone, we are here with Grandmaster Diptan Ghosh. Diptan, you were one of the guests at uh, 36 National Under 7 Championship. So, yeah, how was your experience seeing all these little kids uh, at this event? Uh, hello everyone. So, it was my first time uh, at a national championship, but as a guest or at the prize distribution ceremony. I have myself played quite a number of nationals, so it feels great to be back and seeing these kids uh, enjoy themselves. I hope the future stars of Indian chess will come out from this tournament. Well, you have had a fantastic uh, year so far. First, you won uh, Rochefort Masters in France. Then you won Professor Limcock and at uh, Singapore. Then uh, two runner-up finishes at uh, Malaysia and Thailand. And then again, you won another uh, rapid reading uh, part of ASEAN series in Singapore. So yeah, can you just uh, tell us your experiences uh, playing at all these events? Okay, so I came back to professional chess from January this year. Before this, I was uh, working at a private company and uh, was working full time. So I didn't get time, much time for chess. So after my return, I, I would say that I did a good job so far winning these tournaments. But I think I could have uh, played a bit better, particularly in the tournaments of the ASEAN Chess Series in Thailand and Malaysia, uh, where I dropped uh, around 9 or 10 points. Apart from that, I think uh, like I started the year with around 25, 45 or something like that, and my current ELO is 25, 70. So I'm hoping to cross 2600 as soon as possible, although this has been like quite a tough uh, challenge for me like I have been trying since 2015-16 so like I am playing a few events in France in October and then uh, in Portugal so I hope to play some good chess and uh, hopefully increase some points Are you working with anyone or uh, on your own? No, currently I am working on my own and apart from that I take training from Pro Chess training which is being headed by uh, Sujoda from time to time but apart from that I'm currently on my own. Well, uh, Peter Long, famous chess journalist and also an arbiter, he mentioned in his uh, report that at Malaysian uh, chess tournament uh, you did a master class and uh, you were a role model, every organizer's dream to have you and then I met uh, Kevin uh, Go Wei Ming at uh, World Cup and uh, he's the CEO of Singapore Chess Federation, he also praised you that you played so well in Singapore. So what do you have to say about uh, getting all these praises from various organizers? Well, like all the events I've played in the Southeast Asia recently were very well organized in terms of accommodation, transport and everything. The particularly the event in Singapore was uh, like really well organized and also this Thailand Open was also like it. I mean, where we stayed was very close to the venue, like walkable around five minutes. So that helped. And uh, I mean, I had no complaints regarding the organizers. And hopefully, like I, 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 uh, I will play again next year if the event uh, happens. What would be your message to the players and parents uh, who took part in national under seven, irrespective of whether they won the prize or not? So initially, as I have been always told, uh, first and foremost, you need to enjoy the game before results. So my message would always be the same that uh, the child or whoever the whoever is playing first needs to enjoy the game and not to worry about results. Although I know it's easier to say than do the thing, but initially at their age, definitely you need to enjoy the game first before anything else. Thank you, Dipta, for your valuable time. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you so much.